In this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, Dylan drinks water. It's like water. Dutch shows off his sense of smell. Kind of smells like bourbon. And I use my hands. I'm going to take what you're doing over here, and I'm going to roll it on down over here. (laughs) All this and more when the Bourbon Guild reviews Jim Beam White Label. It's so simple, maybe you need a refresher. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards. All right, guys. Have any of you ever heard of this bourbon before? Is this uh, uh, it's called a micro distillery? <laughs> it's, a, it's a new product called Jim Beam. No. Um, in all <laughs> seriousness, uh, you know, we don't just review the rare and hard to find bourbons on this show. We also want to make sure we review the best selling bourbon in the world um, Jim Beam. White label. White label, though, right? Specifically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now they've come out with a number of different Jim Beams over the past few years, especially. They've got. All kinds of stuff they're doing with their double oaked, and they've got a number of varieties. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is the original, the the white label Jim Beam. Is this um, the Mila Kunis one? Yeah, yes, I think it is. I think she's kind of embracing <laughs> oh, the entire Jim brand. Beam? But uh, yeah, she is I, not an everyday drinker for most of us in the Bourbon Guild, but uh, but definitely the most popular bourbon in the world. So there's a lot of people out there buying it and drinking it. So we should at least uh, give it a good review, right? Or give it a proper review. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be good yet. It's an right. interesting choice. Um, you know, it's a pretty classic bottle, squared shape, um, it, a screw top cap. It's got a signature. It's got it's got some signatures on it. It's got the Beam family uh, tree on one side. Um, not much else to say about it. I yeah, mean, people forget this though. The, the embossed. Right yeah. Well, established 1795. So mm-hmm. I mean, this is an old, an old brand, an old label, an old company. Um, well. Comes at you at 40% alcohol, 80 proof, and MSRP on this, it's inexpensive at about 15 bucks. I think we actually picked this bottle up on sale for, what was it? $12.99. $12.99. So that's, I mean, yeah. that's a bargain. And just one thing to point out, and I know we've discussed this on our show before, is that this is a $12.99, $15 bottle of hard alcohol that we're about to sip. You know, there, there's not a lot of other types of alcohol that you can really do that comfortably. <laughs> Like if you're buying a fifteen dollar yes. fifteen dollar tequila, you're not going to want to be sitting there sipping it for the most part. Yeah. So that's something to be said for even a bourbon like Jim. So I'm going to crack this open. Got a little more background for us. Sure. Uh, the company is uh, Beam Suntory. Um, so it's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, but um, <laughs> so, <Bill> Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's aged four years. Um, the mash bill is seventy seven corn, thirteen rye. 10 malted barley and it you know <laughs> I, I you know it's been a long time since i've sipped on the white label yeah it, like know. i said this is not our usual fare but I, I actually did try a little mini bottle of it when we were preparing for our 20 dollars show which you yeah. guys should check out so i've had it not too long ago um and i'll save my my recollection for our discussion time but why don't we get to tasting and jules can give us our uh yeah, so new, if you guys are, out there are scoring criteria. Yeah, if you're new to the Bourbon Guild, we have a 10 point grading system. So we give two points for aroma, three points for complexity, two points for drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and a bonus point for value. So for us, we define value as its availability and uh, price point. You know, I gotta say, I just noticed when Dylan here gives the background on these bourbons that we taste. You and Dutch, you and Ju- Dutch, you and Jules, you always have your little powwow over there and giggle when you're on your initial pour there. I, I just noticed that. Like, it does happen. You what know, are you yeah. giggling about over there? We just get They're bored. Gossiping. We, the yeah, we get bored with everything that Dylan about. talks about. Okay. The one ear out the other. I'm going to be canoodling about this in a second. So nerdy. All right. Just ask what, what was the proof on this? 80. 80. 80. Wow. It's like water. <laughs> Oh, man, it's it's a little bit tricky. It here. is. Well, That's know, why uh, with our grading system. Well, keep in mind, you know, this is it the is. cheapest bourbon that we've ever applied our scoring system to. So, not not that we want to be elitist about it, but this is not the 
kind of bourbon that we've been reviewing on our show, and it's not something that we it's drink totally regularly. It's totally an elitist so. thing to say. <laughs> 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 just, kinda, not that we're trying to be elitist, but we that. are elite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the facts. You know, no, but a lot of bourbon, bourbon does, and yeah. Well, we said it best, I think, and you kind of hit on the $20 show. It's like, this is what bourbon's all about. You don't yeah. need a $100 yeah. rare, like, 12-year bourbon in front of you to enjoy a great bottle of bourbon. We, we did our $20 review show, the definitive $20 definitive. review show. Definitive. And man, I think we were all blown away on the the we we were surprised and we were astounded at just how drinkable everything yeah. on the panel was. Yeah. And again, this was sub twenty, so yeah. you're out the door nineteen ninety nine max for that. And you know, all right, guys, cocktails are drinking. Yeah. Scores ready? Ready? Score yeah, but in. man, this is a all right. Uh, I'll kick it off. Uh, it was a, a four point five for me. 6.0. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, I get a five. Five. Yeah. And Ben? Seven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are you drinking down there? Wow. Well, now I'm curious. I'm really curious Let's what the through. justification Let's is Let's talk here. it through. Um, first category, aroma. I don't think I'm going to surprise anybody at this table in telling you that I give it a zero. Okay. I got nothing on the nose. Wow. I mean, really? it, I mean, it was really? so subtle. I mean, maybe a .25 because I can smell it and it kind of smells like bourbon mm. but like I, I can just no distinct flavors a little bit of alcohol but just no no flavor profiles coming through on the nose for me wow mm. okay i gave it one out of two so middle of the road um, really yeah for aroma so I'm what getting, are the flavors you get on the nose well i'm getting some caramel so i'm getting hints of caramel i'm getting a little but well, i mean i mean yeah overwhelming factors i do get that burn like just even on the nose like there is mm. a burn the alcoholic burn yeah. Uh, but I mean, I'm getting some, some, something. You know I, I mean, I, I'm getting like some caramel. Again, I get just, a tiny bit of caramel. Yeah, it's mostly that. It's but it's thin. Yeah, it's very thin. Yeah. That's the thing. So, so that's okay. I mean, like, to me, that's not enough to give me wow. even to a point five. That's yeah. just like a point two five. So, so want that low. I want to, I want to kind of oh, yeah. tackle that a little bit. So I really went back and forth between a point five and a one, um, but I ultimately ended up in a one because it does smell thin, right? It's 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 diluted. It's it's, it's eighty, 80 proof. Yeah. It's like nothing. Um, but it doesn't smell like a young bourbon. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's why a, that's I pushed point. it up to from a point. I would have given her a point five if you had some of those flavors like, you know, the oak, the vanilla, the caramel. Yeah. It's there, but it's very, All very, right. very muted. But it doesn't smell like a young kind I, of I think you know, I'm gonna come harsh. up to a point. I'm yeah. gonna come up to a point five. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm getting what you're saying because I did get that little bit of thin caramel. And you're right, it doesn't Smell like a young bourbon. It doesn't. Right. It that, doesn't. That, that, that's that the thing. Me. So I okay. gave it a one. All right. I'm going to take what you're doing over here, and I'm going to roll it on down over here. <laughs> can we see some more of those? Uh, I gave it a 1.5. <laughs> because, yeah, you can. Five. I gave it a 1.5. Here's why. Um, <laughs> I agree with what you said. It doesn't smell like a young bourbon. But flavor-wise, my friend, I'm getting peanut, <laughs> honey, <laughs> oak, uh, what caramel, did you, what did you pour vanilla? in your glass down there? I think you had peanuts before. <laughs> the I'm, saying, like, I'm getting all kinds of good stuff from this, and it's, <laughs> the aroma was great. I don't know what you guys are smelling, but like, I it was there. And gr granted, we'll get to complexity, but it's not. There's not layers upon layers, but I mean, really, I got peanut and honey, like that, like <laughs> vanilla. Like somebody go back. Dylan, to Dylan the, has lost somebody his back over to here. the Rock Hill <laughs> but, uh, video. But again, what you were of, saying. Hold on. What you were saying, you guys like laugh, but like this is exactly what bourbon is all about. This is a the twelve dollar, thirteen dollar bottle hey, of bourbon, yeah. and we're getting yeah, some great yeah, stuff. But, from. But, but that comes into value. It doesn't like, come into these categories. So, well, I mean, you got to judge. But my this. point is, it's there. I'm getting it, and like it's definitely flavorful. Yes, Complexity, Ben. Complexity. I gave it a one point five because this, I will say, it is middle of the road. I did get that that peanut butter and honey sandwich. Um, the the it's spice the oak. Yeah, it's like Elvis. Style, guys, man. peanut butter. Come on, like you didn't smell it, like the oak, the richness of the barrel. Like, am I the only? Like, I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't like, smell it, but I, I smell it and I taste it. it. I get the vanilla, the caramel. Like, yeah, I, it's I, middle I of the road. yeah, I gave it a one. I think yep. one it's for me. it's Same. the you know you Cheers. get you get the basics. You yeah. get the, you get yeah. the hits. Yeah. You yeah. get the exactly. hits, but and, it's and not it's, more than that. And then and then it's muted. So that's how I came to that it, score it of one. It tastes pretty clean. It's very clean. Very clean. I, I mean, I, I have to say, I, mean, I, I am almost, enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. I'm 
quite enjoyable. Yeah. So, to be honest, I almost yeah, but, gave it. I almost gave it a one point five. In fact, I mean, you can see it, but you proven that I did yeah, cross it. Yeah. I dropped it down, and uh, partly because I, tapping on what Dylan was saying, it's just because it didn't evolve anymore. Right. You it's know, like it's a small it little bandwidth yeah. of bourbon flavor. And you flavor, get a bump, it's clean, and, then, and it's, yeah. it's, but it's clean. It's solid yeah. at that. Exactly. Like, so. Okay, Ben Richards calls bull. Bull. <laughs> like, you guys are giving this good score. You guys are saying, like, okay, your scores do not reflect the fact that you're sitting here and saying you're enjoying this. And, like, I, and well, again, but, but again, Ben, Ben, is, that's. But that's for different values. values. That's well, for different values. No, no, so for us, you for just me, yeah, all clarified your, your score about uh, drink complexity that you're sitting here enjoying it. and Enjoying that, the flavors is what I'm yes, saying. Yes, exactly. And that's my score. Middle of the road, 1.5. This is an enjoyable glass of bourbon from the aroma, the complexity, and we're going to get to drinkability. But, like, I don't think your scores are indicative. Like, you guys feel like you. I well, feel listen, like guys, you, we can't spend all this arguing well, about our scoring system. But but but, but I, I, I want right, to. I want to say. That's all I'm saying. So I want to give. Out, I want to bring up one thing. So, Elmer T. Lee. I remember it was le less complex than I thought it would be, and yet it was so enjoyable. All right, guys. Next category: right, right, drinkability. Right. I'm too much, too much rambling now. Down here, I don't understand you guys. Well, so Ben, everything you're saying to me, it makes sense, but. All, all the, the positives of this fit into drinkability and yeah. value for me. And that's Completely. why I gave this a full two on drinkability. Yeah, same here. This is a perfectly cheers. drinkable bourbon. That's yeah. exactly I where I gave it a two. And that's yeah, what bumped up my score. Well, cheers. So yeah. I, I'm the outlier here. So what? I think this is yeah. drinkable. Well, what did, did you, you actually score? So, what did you score? So I gave it a 1.5. Oh, you're not that far. I, I almost gave it a two. You know what? Let me tell. Let me explain why. did you die? Let me explain why. It's the finish. It kills me on the finish. It's too thin. It's gone. It's... It's gone in an instant. I don't get the finish that I get in, let's say, the Eagle Rare 17, um, the birthday bourbon. I don't get it. I cannot give this. There's a not much of a lasting two. finish. Okay. It's I a clean can't finish. give it a, It's a clean finish. Yeah. I hear what it's you're short. Saying. It's muted. That's fair. It's, it's yeah. weak. I give it a 1.5. So, so, right. I'm sorry. sorry. I got to say something. Oh, no. Hey. I was with you guys on You're that. Good. Okay. So completely drinkable. I got to say something. Ben's got I, something to say, guys. The reason you... <laughs> no, but the reason you bumped up that aroma, because, you like, again, you're saying this doesn't smell like a, a young bourbon. It doesn't smell like a thin bourbon. Like, you gave it points in, in the aroma for that. And I think that's enough. That should be the same reason you come up to a two on the drinkability, because this is a... I don't want to say low price, but this is a reasonable budget it's, bourbon. It's low price. And it's a good it's a good value, and we'll get to that. But every glass, every sip, I mean I poured myself a healthy Ben Richards pour. Right. I would I would even say this was a Dylan size pour. So for but you guys, like, okay. This class is okay, a right, right, So I'm gonna other people on the panel. I'm gonna call you guys out. I'm gonna call I'm done yelling at you guys for your stuff. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna call you guys out. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you guys out on this. You guys gave a two, a perfect score on drinkability. I have never seen you guys drink it. That doesn't right mean there. it's not drinkable. No, that you have not. Mean, you know it's available. It's not you don't reach for it. That right. doesn't you mean don't it's not reach that's for a, it's it. A fair, it's a fair point. It's a fair critique. point. If right. it's Maybe, a perfect you know drinkable, but, 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 but you don't want to know why. Maybe we. It's will. because it's because of the next category of uniqueness. It gives a point five. There's really nothing remarkable about it. Very little remarkable. Other mm, than let's other go down than, wait. but Ben. Point five. Before we Flavor discuss, wise. everybody go down the road. No, before we discuss, go down the road. Everybody, I want to hear everybody's scores. Point five. Would you give one? I gave it a one. Okay, so Point I don't five. have anything to cheers, but I'm cheersing you anyway. So we're all I actually agree with you on the same, same, we're all in the same area. Same, same end some, of it. There, yeah. It's not terribly unique, no. and it's not terribly complex. I, I would have gone up to 1.5 on the uniqueness, but I have saved that for the complexity. Yeah. The uniqueness I kept a little lower because it's not. And honestly, you can find this in any grocery store, 7-Eleven, liquor store, wherever you're, wherever you can buy liquor, you can usually. I mean, buy to be it. honest, like a 0.5 of my score actually went to the fact that it's, it's actually a very everywhere. good score. 0. 0.5 yeah. Yeah. for something that is run of the mill. Absolutely, because available on it. Should be a zero. Yeah, you should be giving yeah. it a zero right. because it's not truly unique. Right. Because I mean, and I'm not saying that that's bad. Uh, that's I'm subjective. saying of all. No, no, it, it okay, to, so it to what is a zero? No, because, because what is a zero in a, in a it, scale? No, no. You need to be able to hold say on. there are theoretically something that no, will get a zero. On. If hold you're on. giving, if you're saying the last score is 0. 0.5, then the scale is invalid. Yeah. Everything you, you just took away for your 0. 0.5, I'm going to add back because the uniqueness factor of this being this good and drinkable. 
as no, a no, prolific no, tell me mass an example. producer right, right, but, but the of a zero. Is true. There, there, there is a zero out there. Yeah. And maybe it's a what is it? cheap store, brought band, store brand that we haven't had yet. Yeah, yeah, maybe. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll, we'll get there. All right. There. Final category. I, I, I'm going to guess that we all agree that this is a one for value. Anybody for sure. Agree? One. Great. Yes. Unanimity. Finally. There it is. Okay. Really nothing to say on on bonus category because this is extremely inexpensive and we all just. And it's available everywhere. And we all rated it very high for drinkability. So yeah. I think that in and of itself says a lot. Is, yeah, yeah that absolutely. says a lot about this bourbon. You know what? The ben, the butcher stands by his score. Like this is, I, and the butcher refers to himself in the third person. Clearly. I like this. Like, I mean, maybe this is this is the be, if this is the best selling bourbon in the world, There's it's not because they throw it in yeah. on mass to liquor. People yeah. are buying this, and I and now I see why. Okay. Um, Part of my score, I will fully admit, part of my score is the surprise at just how good this is for a $13, $13 bourbon. Ladies and gentlemen, that is like a couple, that's like three days of Starbucks if you buy like the sugary well, stuff. Well, what like, I'll point out here is, I mean, I know that Ben Richards has given a 7.0 to $50, 60 $70 bourbons. And that for sure. speaks volumes to where it stands. Really how and good again, this is for the price. And I again, can, our value category yeah. really is for that. And that's only one part of what makes a good bourbon. So... Let's get our final tally here, guys. Fire right, up the trusty old Addy. Addy, the Addy, 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 Addy machine oh, is God. back. Hopefully it works. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think it's the user. Did you not plug this in? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So it's we're like, not going to be like using like the, the Addy machine. It might still work. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> we're going right. gonna to use the new technology instead. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, guys. Let's get our final tally here. Ben, it was a 7.0, wasn't it? Yeah, 7.0. 7.0, Dylan. Uh, correct score of five. Oh, I, I agree. Correct score of five on. for me as well. Six point. And a six point oh. The people have spent. It needs a little bit more to push it in the over the edge 6. of mediocre. And our official bourbon guild what score for what Jim Beam White what Label. label. 5.75. That's a really good score. That is a really good That's score. That's a really good yeah. score. For a $13 uh, bourbon. On, in our scale, this is a very good score. Yeah, okay. Like hey, look, it's better, than a, it's better than, than a few bourbons that are out there, guys. That's true. There are a few that we don't like. Wow. But I will say, a few in one, two things surprised me. Two things surprised the hell Just out two? of me. Just um, <laughs> two? The whole episode was surprising. No, but like, <laughs> that no the Ben Richards show was surprising. <laughs> two <laughs> things that surprised me show. about this were one... The, there were some fighting words. Like, feelings were getting hurt on this review. Like, man, that, well, maybe... Oh, your feelings. Oh, your feelings. But, like, we, this Wait, was... How this much was, did Jim Beam pay you for this? Seriously. <laughs> honestly, quite Seriously. honestly, they're, they're paying me in emotion and, and, <laughs> and enjoyment because I was honestly... Nobody was more surprised than me to like this as much as I did. Right. But, too, like... Nobody really on this panel, scores aside, well, well, nobody really had a negative thing yeah. to say about it. We weren't right. sitting here like, oh, this is awful, or oh, this burns, I mean, or no, nothing. We had more negative things to say about each other. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and that's, ben, that's ben, a let me, let me <laughs> when, when we were preparing for our $20 show, I bought a little mini bottle of this, yeah. and I was trying it head-to-head -head with some of the other cheaper bourbons. Yeah. And this was probably the smoothest of them all. Yeah. And where I did, why I didn't end up picking it was because I didn't think it was very complex. There's a, there's some of the mm. other cheap bourbons that are more complex, but they're That's not fair. nearly as smooth. So That's it's all fair. about balance. Yeah. Well, and, it uh, is. It let's is. bring some balance to the force and let Jules right. take us out of this episode. Yeah, guys. Hey, all right. Zen. You guys tell us what you think in the comments below. Are we all off a rocker? Are you guys on Ben's side? But <laughs> Jim Beam makes you angry. Jim Beam. <laughs> rouse him up, man. Yeah, from Bakersfield. That's, That's probably what it is. And it gives a thumbs up if you like this episode. Be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button for more videos from the bourbon guild check us out on instagrams facebook's our website and ben tip your bartenders and oh i like this bourbon i'm sorry all right, <laughs> all right guys all right. defending <laughs> till the last bourbon guild out Like, I think, like, you hit the nail on the head earlier when you're talking about, like, t a $13 tequila is no, a, a, look, a bad divorce ben, and, and a, and a fucking, the whole like, thing is hangover like, in me, the gutter. For me, 13 bucks, I'm getting a sick bad thing to say. All right, now, where can I plug this That was thing? good. <laughs>